It is the one that's originally on. Was it on the original Modern Warfare 2? I can't remember it. Oh. down there, strike team. Dobbs has eyes on terminus forces on this bridge. It's the first LMG in the LMG category is in the short term. Oh yeah, 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 I know what you mean. It's what I literally did earlier. Is there anything I'm far to do now? Like I said, I only need to get the. I need to get the. Kills. I just need to get the 300 kills with each of the weapons now. And then it's the good old shotgun. It's got ACB contract spotted. That's why you should get that shot. Get that shot and put the finger attachment on. Change your blow it up, put the fast mags on. It's technically fast mags. But if you come here, if you come to B2, right here where this eagle is, get a vehicle. Then go over it with the vehicle and get free sleight of hand. Magazine attachment, sure. But it's like even if you get sleight of hand. Just make sleight of hand your first priority. When you're using the LMGs, you want sleight of hand as your main priority for it. Because it's like with all these attachments things, 
I seriously don't get why they've made it so... The zombies just, just have fast mags. It's the only thing you need. It's literally fast mags. You just need fast mags. That's all you need for any weapon is fast mags. And it's like... That's why Black Ops 3 detachments is god tier. Because you get fast mags for every single weapon. You're playing a you're playing a survival type mode. The main thing you need is fast mags, so you reload a lot faster. And then you combine it with sight of hand, and it's like literally you know, every single gun on the game pretty much reloads instantly. Says what I thought, and put if you want to get like if you want to level up, if you want to level up your guns, just uh, just stay in the thing zone, stay in the first zone, and then just keep doing this mission. Well, keep doing missions like the cargo, and do this one, and then uh, do the the rock locker one, and then the. Um, Pretty much the good old uh, survival base, normal base, zombies, round based. I'm trying. We stay in room with, with the crystals. Vehicle moving on route. Escort the ACB while it is doing its job. We cannot have anything happen to it. Wait to be running around with shotguns though. As soon as I've done all the clean call all kills, finally run around with all the shotties. You know, the moment I went into tier 3 last time, I went down in some movement, I touched the board. <laughs> I think... I think that for me is a skill issue and I only have gotten to round 34 in that face. Well, that's the thing though, if you like... If you are mainly concentrating on just leveling up your gun to do the camos, you don't really need to go... It's not really necessary to go into tier 3. Unless if you start off with, like, you get a, you get lucky, you get the tier 3 crystal at the beginning, and then you've got Sly of Land and Deadshot, Juggernaut, and Proof of Life, you fine.
Spawned a lot of them. But yeah, you're gonna you're gonna kind of can't find it a bit annoying trying to kill a an abomination with a line machine. I think that's the first ever time actually of doing generally doing the X score or whatever the that mission's called. Where it literally spawned it literally spawned like three di disciples and then it spawned like nearly five to six Manglers. Personally as well, every, obviously since I've been doing, since I've been doing it from the pistols, melee weapons I should say, since I've started doing the melee weapons and then from melee weapons down to assault. Hey! Um, for me, since I've done the subs, have I done the subs? No, I have done the subs. No, it's because when it when the the first week week like when the first get when the game came out the first week with challenges I was running around with a submachine gun. It might have been that one that you're talking about, but um, I do personally think though that the submachine guns are like the best things to have, or like, the best weapons from zombies. This is, that's coming from me, since like I say like every single weapon is the same thing, it's just the same, but one just got like more ammo type business, but with the swords, uh, you've got a lot of uh, mobility, you've got a load of, you can sprint really fast, so it's like, that's like one of your biggest advantages, and then you combine that with stamina up, and you can run around like, you can literally run around like a headless chicken. Anyway, also, these disciples, man. I'm bumping into loads. I needed to kill five. This is the, the first line of killing since that was the last one I did. There we go. I needed to kill five. We could like the entire game just to get five rides at the end. Now, I've literally killed like nearly seven. But yeah, these are the main weapons you want to do. I mean, contracts. These are the main contracts. The is underway. Destroying these crystals will stop further corruption. Enemies approaching. Dispatch them back to whatever hell they came from.
that's why I can't wait to, to actually do, do the shotguns. So I've got a feeling the shotguns are going to be mega. I still say, I still say that the best thing that they've ever done for Slav, I mean, for the Packer Punch, generally the best, like, buff is that the fact it literally gives you double ammo. Ammo capacity that you've got. Eyes on raid weapon stack. I'll get us there. It doubles it. Because there's only one gun. There's only one gun I can think of where it actually genuinely like doubles it. No, it's like it triples it. Or it might be doubles. So I can't even remember how much. The, the minigun of uh, Blood of the Dead because it gives it five it gives it five hundred doesn't it as soon as you pack a bunch of it hey did he seriously activate the thing I'm surprised I've not got the 300 kills yet. I've just immediately just jumped into tier two. Changing back. Because I don't normally just jump into tier two. Loading completed. Loading system driver. Bothered to buy upgrade, you definitely need to buy them. It's only a pirate skin, genuinely. It's like genuinely only a pirate skin on this. But it's like each person, even the default, the default dude looks sick, anyway. Oh, is that the 
Or is that the thing you skin of Modern Warfare 2? Where you get to level 1200. They should use the brains and do a bundle. They should do a bundle that states it calls the Ether Bundle. You get eight skins of the original characters. Dempsey, Takio, Nick Lyon, Rick You get both of them. You get both. And then, like, they don't even like need the voice actor to come in. They could literally just make it so every de every skin, both of the skins, they've got all of their unique codes from every single zombie. Or whatever the price you have, and they will make thousands, millions. And you literally just say, Are you telling me I can buy a bundle that's got the original 40, Dempsey Takio Nikolai, it's got both the skins, Primus and all this? And I can play with that skin, and it's got every single quote that they had on the zombie maps. I don't know if to keep you here or just. Have eyes on a pack a punch. That's like genuinely the best selling point that they could do for a bundle. Everyone's wanting the original characters back. Just make a bundle, it's called the Ether Bundle. And you've got Furious Enormous, attack of the original four. 
Takio, they fly, then see, and rigs up. And then each of the skins is a very enormous. Because it's the new world of codes that they said from Black from Cold from World of War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Scratch, Black Ops. And that would generally be the first ever bundle that I'll actually buy on a Call of Duty. Eyes on raid weapon stash contract. Even better, you know, you know, you know, you know, like another good thing, like I'll get us there. Another thing that they could do, you know, like since everyone wants like the Zombie Chronicles too, to bring like Dire Eyes, basically bring all the maps with thingy on it, the transit crew. Since they're technically, well, since they're in the Dark Ether and obviously everything, all the maps got transported into the Dark Ether. Um, they could literally make everyone happy. Since everyone's like liking this, um, they could literally make a map like this. And it's literally every single zombies map in one. I don't like what they did with um, uh, Black Art. When they did Black Art with that, uh, they literally put. They literally only put every single zombie's map within the map. So then it's like they could literally do it with this. Oh, let's go to Kino. Oh, let's go to Dire Eyes. Oh, let's go to there. Let's go here. Let's go to Brooks. I think I've got an attachment on this for the reserve ammo. I think I could be wrong. Yeah, that's what they can literally do. Everyone's wanting Zombie Chronicles too. Since like every single map got transported into the Dark Eve, we are literally running the dark. We're literally in the Dark Eve time. Since this is the perfect, apparently this is the perfect time. Um, you can literally just dedicate a map that is literally all the zombie maps in. Let's put to shoot, let's put to shoot the number. And then, what they could do... I don't like what they did with, um... I don't like what they did when they brought out Zombie Chronicles, where they brought all the, pretty much nearly all the old maps back. And then they put, like, they added the like, Easter egg, the Easter egg, right? They could actually do that as well. Do 
the maps that I had Easter eggs, not like the main ones, obviously. Um, like the little, the, the small Easter eggs that the maps had, you can do them when you go there. Oh, I wonder where to put them. Oh, where could they put thingy? Uh, where they could, they, where could they put Zetsubu, Noshima? Where could they put that? They could literally put it on that island right there. Oh, where could they put Blood of the Dead? They could literally put it right there. That big tower is that big building. Sometimes it's got a pack of punch in it. Is it them? Is it one of these? The big massive tower building. There you go, there's Dire Eyes. All right, uh, what was it? It's got a CV contract spotted. Since all the maps are from Chronicles, taken into the Eve, that they could just be there from Eve of Corruption. Well, wow. time to go. That's the thing, though, with. You don't even really necessarily need to do that. Listen up. That camp is heavily guarded. Smoke out that hornet's nest. They've posted snipers. Be a peach and send them to the great beyond. This is. I still, I still personally think that they will bring by the transit crew since they're in the dark evil as well. And I've got a feeling, right? I genuinely this, I don't know why, I've got this like... I've just got this feeling... Try it out, they're going to be crafty bastards, like, kind of like what they did with, um... Kind of like what they did with, um... 
almost ripped off him with um, Butterfly. When uh, the zombie fight ripped off him, aka the zombie that we shot on the giant. Um, he's basically known the plan since like day one, since he got his diary and read it and blah blah blah. blah. Um, I don't know why, I've, I've just got this feeling, this feeling that. So I don't even know if people have figured out the, that um, thing that you strike on the Blood of the Dead when you're playing in Rick Coffin and then you go on the roof and then uh, Stuhlinger starts talking to Rick Coffin. I don't know why, I've just got this feeling that that Rick Coffin or a Rick Coffin of some sort Pretty much, it, it pretty much, it's gonna happen by what Ultimate Toffin did with the Ultimate Toffin from Moon. From when he looted, he touched, switched his goals with Samantha, and then makes it unclassified is the radio with the zombie fire Toffin, the one that we shoot from the giant at the beginning of the tra on the trailer, or the cutscene, intro, whatever. Then. He goes up to that Rick Toffin, touches him, and then he transfers his soul into him. And then he basically comes back to him. But then he's obviously got the zombie fire Rick Toffin inside him because it's obviously he is the zombie fire Rick Toffin. I don't think that's why I've got a feeling Stirlinger. They're gonna do something with Stuhlinger, he'll meet the he'll meet the Eddie, the Eddie of his timeline, the, the good Eddie. That's even if he is good. And he's gonna have a trigger with you know kinda like the whole uh the numbers base and what does it mean type thing, like this is the big one story and whatnot. And then there was that trigger word that always triggered it. Because he knows who he is, because he obviously he knows what he because he knows he's ripped off him because he's literally the spitting image because he literally is ripped off him. It's just a different timeline ripped off him. He's got the same fade, he's everything. The Stuhlinger will recognize him and then in brought to him, he'll start talking to him and then he'll say he'll say a word and then that Rick Toffin, it will like change. It will change back to the original Rick Toffin. Stuhlinger doesn't really know what Brick Puffin looks like, but obviously it'll recognize him as soon as he starts talking. Let's see even if he is German on this. Which he should be. Because it's the Rick Toffin that it's the it's the boy Rick Toffin, well it's the child Rick Toffin that Rick Toffin Killed to get his soul to take it to the house. And I still personally think, I personally think as well, the the scientist girl on this, the blonde chick. When you see the the ending cutscene, um. The reason why she's like so connected to the dark ether is because down. Samantha is in there and I personally think the blonde chick, I forgot her name, I keep forgetting her name, the scientist girl, I personally think that is Samantha. That's a that's a half of Samantha. Somehow the dark ether has corrupted Samantha 
and then this, the girl that's with us, that is Samantha, but it's the good version of Samantha. Because even the dark ether Samantha, she does kind of give off like the old like the old Samantha vibes. That's why she knows about it. Because she is Samantha. It's the split like split personality. She is the good version of Samantha. And then the evil Samantha is in the dark ether. be insane if that is like what they're gonna do Stulinger will see Richtofen or he'll hear him and think hold on that's Richtofen I've not I've not heard him for years since because the only thing that we've got off is the it's the radio is the radio off of uh, classified Because uh, there's, there's a radio, as soon as you start, it's on the table. No, it's the red phone. That's it, it's the red phone. It's the red phone. When you listen to it, it's shooting. Like he's in the dark ether. Because he even starts saying that. I've not. I've not heard you, your voice in my head for a very, very long time. And he's like, the place that you send to us, it's like... He said to me like, he's it's like, it's got dirt within dirt type of thing. Roaches within roaches or something like that. To basically represent the Dark Ether. That's the only radio that we've got that's like connected to the Dark Ether. But the Dark Eve has been, been a thing for years. But that would be insane if they go down. crazy thing, even the Primordium still a thing. Because that's how I think we got all the plans of uh, Cold Water. I forgot the name of the lass. The, the diamond chick that you fight on the, on the, on the map. On the map. It's the tile that you get. It's her reading the Kenori. I said the Pinorium stuff at
Eyes on raid weapon stash contract. Weather balloon data agrees. This is gonna be a big one. Strike team, get to exfil ASAP. There's anxiety in the night though. The only thing that can't really connect with um, Sealing and everyone being alive in the dark either is the fact that if it literally corrupted Samantha, then it's obviously corrupted Stulinger uh, and everyone. Because another thing that you've got to realise is Stulinger, he's got the original Dark Eve for him. really find really cool that what they've done is when within the new when they brought out the next season what well, the season the first season when they well when it was when they brought the dark ether is the cutscene when you see the fall from cold war i've got the names the two scientists the sergeant and then weaver that's it either when you see them as zombies in in that dream they've got blue eyes and obviously that makes sense because they're on Rick Toffin's team. Well, Eddie's team. So their eyes are kind of, it's kind of cool, like a little small detail. That their eyes are blue because they're on Rick Toffin's side. There have been no way. Is Eddie this is Eddie the son of Brick Tuffin? I don't really understand where Eddie came into the law. Is he a child of Brick Tuffin? No. Eddie Eddie, the well, the Tuffin that's in the story now. He's the Rick Toffin. He's that's the reason why they call him Eddie. Is because Eddie nice work. is the Rick Toffin. Where the main Rick Toffin, well, not the main line of Hortonus, the one that went to Camorium. He went to, he went basically, he went to a dimension, 2210. When you're playing Alpha Omega, uh, when you're playing Alpha Omega, and he says he should, because he's talking to Dempsey, like if you're playing as Dempsey, Dempsey and Nikolai, he tells Dempsey that you should tell Ruptoffin what happened in Dimension 2210. I think that's what it says, 2210. And basically, the reason why he never talks about it is because. He basically found himself as a kid, and he killed him. Put his soul into the summoning key, and then he took his soul into the house. So he basically killed himself as a kid. And that Eddie is the one that's in this. That's him. It's basically the Rick Toffin that had nothing to do with anything because he was a kid. And basically, that's the Rick Toffin that walks through the portal with Samantha at the end of on the Revelation. 
Tag the turn song. Because that's how Riptoff's soul is already there in the house. Because he read the Cremorium, and then the Cremorium told him that he has to go and get his soul. He has to basically go and kill. He has to go and kill one of himself. That's what it pretty much is. So the one that he went to and killed was when he was a kid. Since the kid wicked off and literally had he had no knowledge and nothing. He's just a kid. And that's why it kind of makes sense that the wicked off that we see at the end of um, the Saken, is that name of the map? From Cold War, when we see him at the end of the trailer, by the end of the cutscene. Oh, nice, I got the kills. Um, that's the reason why he knows about Samantha having powers. Because he even knows, like, when you see on the. When he's on the computer, he says to basically. to eliminate Samantha. Because he, he obviously knows about power. But yeah, that's like the one little cool detail that's so cool that he did with with the cutscene. When you see the fall from Cold War, the group that you was with, that helps you Weaver and then the other three. They've got blue eyes to represent that they're on Rick Totten's team, which they obviously are. Yeah, I didn't realize there was an ad running because since I've not got it up on my thing. Yeah, cool. Good dumb challenges. <laughs> 